Hello everybody and welcome back. It's Jackson and Nick here once again for quarterfinals. Now we are going to be moving on to our fourth game of the day. And uh, St. Clair Saints Gold, they're having a day for themselves. They're having a field day, if I do say so myself. Oh, yeah. And so uh, they're doing pretty good here. We're now moving into quarters finals here. We will be playing Vespa, which I believe they said was Virginia, Virginia Tech. Tech. Yeah, oh. Virginia Tech. That's what Vespa is. So here we go. Vespa, a.k.a. Virginia Tech, going to be moving on in quarterfinals. And now these series actually are now officially best of five for Saints Gold. Saints Green, I believe, is still best of three down there in losers. They did just drop a game to UNC Charlotte. So tough there for them in winners round four. But they did at least get to that winners round four point yep. point so you know they can travel fairly far down in that losers bracket so they don't have to you know start from losers round one because that is crazy um but yeah so it's gonna be virginia tech versus your st Clair saints gold roster here today um both teams have had a good tournament for themselves so far and when we were looking at the bracket you know just a couple hours ago before this tournament did start we noticed that hey we're on the mic for this gold game uh for the gold team all day or whatnot right so yep. We're looking for when those matchups for the gold team are going to get a little bit more tough, when they're going to get a little bit more gritty, when we could see, you know, a game five, when we could see things go the distance. And this Vespa Virginia Tech team was the first team that we saw that would actually be able to, you know, maybe like do a little bit more damage to the Saints roster than the other teams that previously played have been able to. So we're going to see what happens here overall. But as of now, um, St. Clair, they haven't dropped the game yet. They haven't been to a game three yet. We are going to get underway here now, though, with our game against Virginia Tech. So here we go. Kermit, any predictions? Oh, man. Game five. Right off the bat, I'm going game five Saints. Game five Saints. Okay. Well, the pressure is on here early towards that Saints net. And some early shots coming through from Virginia Tech. So that's pretty interesting to see. But one thing I want to point out about Virginia Tech as well. Uh, Waterloo Warriors just forced them to a game number three. And, and they won it in overtime. Sorry, yeah. Virginia Tech won it in overtime. But that's a very, like, intense, like, close game. Like, Virginia Tech, I mean, they're on their back foot right now just trying to get, you know, <laughs> keep themselves alive after battling through that last series. So I bet you both teams pretty happy now to be going to best of five stages because it gives them a little bit more, like, of, like, you know, you go down 2-0, you're not out of it quite yet or something like that, right? So that that's nice to have that reassurance there. But Jade getting a nice little demo there, taking down comp, and... So here we go. It's now looking like we're going to get some offensive pressure on. But I do also anticipate these games being a lot lower scoring, a lot like slower pace, more like, like I mean, obviously it's more fast pace, but like it's a lot slower, like play more analytical, yeah. more uh, precise strategy coming through here. This is when things are going to get a lot more competitive. And uh, we're seeing that right here. It, it, we're already seeing it get proved for a minute and 15 seconds of the game scoreless. That's something we really haven't seen yet today. Yeah, normally, like, goals, as oh. I say that, Jade is going to open up the scoring for Vespa. And I think that's what they that's what they yeah. needed. I think after going down in that overtime in Game 3, uh, I think this is crucial for them. Yeah, I mean, Vespa opening us up with a great goal there, and that's going to give them that one goal lead that they want, right? And, you know, giving themselves a little bit of a cushion. This cushion is something they didn't have in their last series. So to have it a little bit of one, well, not one goal, it really, it's not really a cushion, but now you have a cushion. Because there's your second Fable, getting it on the board now with that one as well. And Vespa taking that 2 nothing lead here over St. Clair Saints Gold. Uh, St. Clair, now they know that, you know, they are facing these tougher teams, right? And they know that their things are going to be a little bit more tough. And it's definitely realizing that as you go down 2-0 here already against this, uh, you know, Vespa strong Virginia Tech squad. So St. Clair now looking to answer back and do whatever they can. Comp will send it up in the corner, getting a nice center. But Jade there to stop that one from coming through. Jade That's having a great game strong. so far, but Jay going to get that one from center field and sends it home, finds the back of the net here. Sinclair Saints goal will answer back and put this one back to a one-goal game. Beautiful shot there, seeing it by both the defenders. And that, like I said, putting it to a one-goal game. We're about a minute and a half through things here now. And the last 30 seconds have been a lot more impactful than the first minute of this game. Yeah, and I mean, like you said, this game's more of an analytical, mechanical kind of game style. And I mean, you just seen it. Jay just beat him out to the ball. And that's what it's going to take. You have to beat all the players to the ball and that's going to be another shot that's going to go off the crossbar and nobody's there to take advantage of it but Spoots looking to center it Jay's not quite there and Jade looking for a shot looking for something but not can't find it and comp well I mean Vespa right again back right into the same end yeah I mean Jade's having a great game I've already said it here um but Jade from Vespa having a phenomenal game here so far and uh really opening things up for the side of Virginia Tech so here we go, St. Clair now looking to put this one back onto the offensive though, but not today so far as what Fable says, and Jade now trying to find another opening here, but Comp 
will stop that one from coming through. So halfway through this game here now, St. Clair Saints still at a one goal trailing. And uh, good, yeah, that is a very good 50-50. Good result in Spoods finding himself a goal. That's going to be his first of this series. And now putting it to a 2-2 scoreline halfway through the game. Just as even as it gets. I mean, we got a clean slate here now, right? It's pretty much two minute and a half minutes have been burned off the clock, essentially, at this point in time. You're back at a 0-0 zero -zero scoreline, and you have two and a half minutes remaining in this game one. That's essentially how I'm looking at it right yep. now, um, because now at this point in time, like, this next goal is massive. Oh, yeah, you have half the game to play. 0-0, zero -zero, so, well, that's what, it's, that's what it seems like, tie game. And, I mean, you can't ask for much more in the game one, especially for both teams, like... Saints had a little bit of a break in Vespa right out, right off a three-game uh, series and overtime. So a little, little bit of stress there and looking, looking for some little relief. Yeah, for sure. So that's what we're gonna see. Two minutes remain on the clock here now, and we are still at a tie game. This next goal is gonna have uh, such a big impact here on things. Babel getting a very nice demo on a comp, and that was a double commit that really could have worked out in Saints' favor. So that demo to come through from Vespa. Big plays overall. Spoods now in a one-on-two on, two on the defensive side of things, waiting for his teammates to rotate over. But that ball is centered, and there's a demo from Nevo. And I mean, hey, Vespa's offense right now is looking quite strong. Jay, luckily, I, I don't know how Jay's so far into the end zone with this ball right now. He, did, he does a very good job of that. And there's a comp coming back for a demo of his own. Shot couldn't get sent on net, but will go and end up a little bit wide. We have about a minute and 25 remaining here on the clock. Comp getting a little bit of a deflection there in the corner. But now it's up to Spoods in a one-on-one -on -one against Fable. Spoods sends it up the wall and immediately going for the clear. But Jade will be there to follow that one up. Jay, though, going to answer back. And so much back and forth around the Saints net right now. 70 seconds remain. We're still on a tied scoreline right now. Comp and Jay are looking to fire this one in towards the end zone of Vespa. And I'll tell you right now, Kerma, this one is going to be a nail biter. Yeah, I mean, you have a minute left, 60 seconds left. And I mean, it's been back and forth. Both teams had their offensive pressure and Saints going to try and slow this down. And I mean, just as when Saints do it, does something, Vespa's right there on top of it, not letting it happen. And that's yeah. going to be in front of the net, but Spoods can't get there. Nobody's oh, there, and Jay gets no the clear. 40 they seconds remaining. Very Next goal wins, essentially. Yeah, you know, St. Clair, the ball was there, but the players' boost and their setups were not. Unfortunately, they were a little bit out of position there, and it will hurt them here now is, like you were saying, 25 seconds remain, and we're still at a tie scoreline. So this next goal is most likely going to win this game, and, and that's a lot to say, right? That's a lot of pressure for both teams here. So it is going to be St. Clair. They have found more offensive pressure in this second half of the game, which is good to see if you are a Saints fan now. That is going to be Comp sending it over towards the side of midfield. Going to get some boost. Now they're looking to send it through and make a big play here. But Jade going to say no. Jade now looking to follow up the zone. This one has to touch the ground for it to go to OT. And that is it, it is. right here. Game number one overtime is getting underway. Your St. Clair Saints and Vespa. This is a series to remember. And that's Comp. Aggressive. Not going to go. Hits the post. A redirect back onto the goal. Spoots denied from Fable. Spoots trying again. Jade on the offense though. Yeah, it's Saints. Uh, sorry, Vespa's trying to get something started after Saints. That's going to be a shot off the post, and oh Saints got lucky gosh. there. And it's been a back and forth game. Spoods taking this to the air. Has enough boost. He's trying going. to bring it to the edge, Jade but Jade's stops there. It. Comp's going to slow this down. Try to bring it up the wall. Stops that Stops that pinch from happening, but it's a one -on -one. Jade's going to have that. Or Sorry, Nevo. He's going to have it. Gets the demo. That's going to be in front of the net, but a big save there by Comp. Compass clutch for coming through and stopping that one from coming through. Jay now going to stop that one as well. And this is very scary for St. Clair. The Vespa pressure is on. They're trying to hunt for this as best they can. Jade going to get a shot. And it hits the post again. We're a minute into overtime and we've seen like 10 shots. This is madness over here. And your St. Clair Saints gold now going to be putting it on the offensive side of things here. Spoots looking to answer for Jade on the offense. This is a Vespa play of attack and it is going well for them. But not anymore. Comp going to get that one out. Spoods there to help out as well. And have everybody on the back line for the Saints. They're trying to find an offensive opening. But this game is coming down to the wire here, folks. This shot could be it. Gonna be a little high and a little wide, though. Jay trying to play off the rebound. Spoods sends it in. Jay playing off a rebound. Will Cobb come through to shoot it? No, Nevo denies. Man, this is the greatest overtime I've seen from both teams. I, I, I want to know how many shots. There's got to be like 15, 20 shots in overtime. There's one <laughs> left. He beats him one, but it's just wider than that. Oh, and Jay's there my to goodness. make the save. Oh, my. And yes. I mean, I don't know what more you can ask for. Comp's going to get a shot. That, that might be it. That's that, no, oh, Fable's Fable. There. Fable read that. He's up in the air, but 
Jay gonna try and cross this. Pass over to Spoods. That's gonna be up. Spoods is gonna center that. What's gonna happen? A shot, but not quite wow. there. That's I mean, a big the, save. the plays are right here right now from the Saints, though. They're trying their best. They're putting the good shots on Jay. Maybe getting for that one, but Fable will be there for the demo. Jay will be back by the time that Vespa maybe puts this one on the offense. So here we go. Jay will be back and play to play this defense here. He will hit that one out, sends it back towards midfield. Spoods jumps it up. Comp gonna play it off that one in a 50-50. Jay, though, gonna get the better of that one. So Jay gonna follow that one up. Nevo sends it off in midfield, though. Spoods following up with more, and this is a two and a half minute OT right now, folks. This is coming down to the wire. Both teams have had tremendous shots. There's a big juke out on comp in that 50-50. Spoots coming back to the back line to play the defense. Jay coming through trying to play the offense. Nevo though trying to make that one work. Comp and Spoots now trying to put this one as a shot. But Fable stopping that one. Centered for the Saints. Jay going for the aerial. The shot is there. But the defense is stronger from Nevo. Spoots and comp trying to make a play through center field. Not going to go. Oh my. Both teams again ping pong. Save after save. Defense and offense for both teams have been nearly perfect. Off this is going to be a shot on goal, but a big save there by Jaden Saints. Have a little bit of offensive pressure here. Jay almost looking for the offensive pressure. That's going to be shot on goal! goal! And Cobb is going to score! Finds it. He finds it! Three minutes and 20 seconds in the overtime. Your St. Clair State's gold roster will take game one off of Vespa's hands. And the gold roster now will win that eight and a half minute game. GG's all around. GG's, Jade, Nevo, and Fable. They had a great one. Comp, Jay, and Spoods sending that one through in overtime, making immaculate plays. I mean, if this camera switched to us sooner, you'd see this because we were standing. <laughs> yeah. That's all you see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, what we got to take a breather there. And if, if that's what we're expecting for this series, this is going to be a wow. long that's series. Game one, that's, that's game one, man. That's game one. These are best of fives. Overtime, best of five. Best of five, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, so both <laughs> I'm just speechless. Oh, yeah. Both teams nearly perfect on everything they've done and uh, you can't ask for much more yeah and both schools immaculate rock league schools right virginia tech so so strong of a school as well they put st Clair saints gold against you know the back foot there they had them down uh st Clair, they answered back accordingly that overtime got crazy and here we go the engines are revving and we are underway here now for this game number two it's going to be the gold roster trying to make something work here and uh, you know that that game one lead, we've always talked about it throughout this whole you know past three, four, five months on how much of an impact game ones have on this final scoreline. So to see the Saints take that one, that makes me a little concerned for Vespa, but also pretty confident in the Saints here now, uh, you know, taking that game one. But things got so close that this is literally anybody's game still. Yeah, I'm not worried for Vespa. That game, both teams have to have momentum going into that. True. I mean, it's game one, and that's gonna be a redirect, but Fable makes a huge save. Wow, and again, just like off last game, starting it off with massive saves. Oh, 100%. And you know, the thing is, is like the offensive pressure is here from both teams. Like they're finding great shots and they're finding a lot of them. The defense, though, is what I want to talk about because oh, it, yeah. it, it's next level right now. We just saw three and a half minute overtime on a 2-2 scoreline game and a, a crazy game at that. So great defense for Jade That's actually down there as well. And that is, you're correct, on net. Uh, Jade will be there to save that one, but this is a center for comp. He will send it off the backboard, try to play it up. Ball. Double touch is there, but Spoots tries to follow up the rebound. Not going to go. So we're still seeing a 0-0 scoreline just over a minute through this one. And Nevo will be putting this on the offense here now. But Comp says no, not today once again. And shuts that one down. Spoots can put that on. Comp can get a good <laughs> redirect. That's a good shot, but that's going to be Fable. They're better in a better positioning. And that's the thing. Vespa not risking the triple commits. They had yeah. Fable back there on the back line, ready to go to make those saves, which is really good. What do you like well, to see? Lots of pinch on net. That's going to go in. Oh, that's Jay. coast to coast. Oh my goodness, Jay! From what is that? From downtown. That was a gorgeous pinch. From downtown, pinch. Kermit. That's oh, a goal. Oh, pinch. Oh yeah. That's right just over, a gorgeous shot. That, that beautiful goes bottom left corner. Your Saint Clair Saints gold gonna take a minute and a half into those game. We'll take that lead. And uh, I mean, Vespa now being on the back foot, they were never at a disadvantage last series. No. Vespa was either at a tied scoreline or leading the game until, you know, that oh, overtime yeah. goal. So now to see this go in St. Clair's favor, how can Vespa answer back? How can they play when they're on the back foot of things, right? That's what we're going to see here come through. And it's going to be the Saints immediately putting this one back on the offense. Nevo and Co. will be there to make a play off of it, though. However, uh, you always got to be concerned when Saints are in your zone. Yeah, Comp's going to center that. That's going to be a little bit wide, but... The triple commit. Spoods almost there. 
to make the save and I don't know if anybody's back and Jay is back to make the save and I mean more pressure that's gonna be just off the crossbar and that's the thing they triple commit too hard on that same is that smooth that put that in no he didn't put it in it just went barred down and I, th I think he touched it I think he touched it at the last sight yeah he did okay I mean either or that that's a in my eyes gonna be a goal but um, the big thing here from the Saints is they got too aggressive on that play. Yeah. They, they only had Jay on the back line. Jay hits the ball once, but then another player from Virginia Tech can play that rebound off of Jay, and Jay's out of position. He can't yeah. make the save. So it's a little tough there for the Saints to lose and drop that goal there. But we will see a tie game here. Now 1-1. Bespa had a great shot. They had a great opening. And now it's going to be Spoots trying to put it on the offense. Fable will still continuously be here. Fable has been a great back line here now for oh, the yeah. side of Virginia Tech, and they're going to continue to try to do that, right? So... Let's see how things go here. But Comp and Jay and Spoots all on the offense here. Once again, they're all in Vespa territory. Makes me a little nervous because last time they're all in Vespa territory, we saw a Vespa goal come through off of the rotations. And it makes me concerned for them. However, the shots are looking good here right now. Spoots and Comp trying to make something work out. The shot from Comp can come through. The Spoots on the rebound. And Jay keeping this one intact at midfield. So every player playing their position here right now. Two minutes remain on the clock on a tie game. Um, this whole series is going to be mayhem. I can already tell. Yeah, I mean, you had game one. To, uh, Vespa up 2-0, Saints come back, tie it, and then a two, almost three minute overtime, and now it's tied with just it was under over two three minutes. minutes. It, was uh, over it was over three, three, three minutes. minutes. Yeah. And now you have tied game with a minute, just over a minute and a half left. I I, I think we'll see another overtime. Yeah, I would not be surprised at all. There is still lots of time though, so Jay setting that one back on the offense. We'll send it off the roof, and Fable though, gonna be trying to play that one off of midfield and that actually gives an opening oh. now Jay this is wide open net that's a goal that's a goal like I that mean, is a it, they need to stop over rotate ro over <laughs> over rotating right you look at this comp is way in Jade is it a one-on-one -on -one? all Fable does that's there is Fable just hit. Fable just smokes Jay off into the corner and say all right Jay you're not in this play anymore now Virginia Tech has a completely wide open net with Jay just having to aerial that one through there's the goal so St. Clair, the only time they ever give up goals in my eyes is when they're too aggressive on the offense. That's, that's that literally, you just got, if they can find the right balance, that, that's huge there. But now on the back foot, yes, they still have over a minute remaining. They still have lots of time to work things out here. Vespa really catching St. Clair when, you know, they're off guard, right? When they're on the over rotation, Vespa will realize that and they're smart enough to say, okay, hey, this is when we're going to make our play. Vespa's just been playing defense and waiting for St. Clair to overextend. Yeah, and I mean, what Fable did there on that play is absolutely gorgeous. That's going to be a redirect. Oh, oh my gosh. He's going to score to tie this game. That was 53 a such, seconds oh, left. 130 kilometers that came off. He was boosting so fast, jumps up, and that was so close to hitting the post. Like, that snuck in the top corner. That is huge for St. Clair to find that one. We're back at a tie game, 2-2. And at this point, last game, we are in the exact same spot as we are now. 2-2, 50 seconds remaining. Um, both teams were scoreless in the last 50 seconds last game, so we'll see if the pattern continues, but uh, who knows? Comp, though, oh. going to be sending it on the offense. He got to pass the defender, but only one. So now Spoods will be trying to follow it up. Spoods trying to get that center down, but Jade going to be the one to make contact with the ball. And Nevo on a 50-50 up there. He will win it, and now into the same zone. It's going to be Spoods and Jay playing the defense as Comp rotates back over. But Spoods now like, says, okay, well, no need to rotate, Comp. I'm back on the offense. Jay going to follow it up. Sends it over towards the center. Not going to go, though, as we got about 15 seconds remaining on the clock here. A 2-2 game, and Spoods is in a one-on-two. Oh, never mind. Jay's there. Jade, Jade almost had an opportunity. And, I mean, this, <gasps> this is going to be the oh. next goal wins. And Comp's going to take this to the air. Going to get red, but it's still up in the air, so... Until it touches the ground, it's anybody's game, and Jay keeps it up, and Here we're we going to get a reset. I mean, game Overtime. number two. Here, Here we, we go. go. So Come on. That is going to be St. Clair <laughs> back at it again, but Fable with an aggressive shot. I mean, this is, game is so stressful. Like, <laughs> like, I'm sitting here not even playing, and I'm losing my marbles. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be St. Clair and Vespa, like we were saying, at this one nothing scoreline for the Saints in the series. But 2-2, two -two, we're back in overtime. Last time we were here, it went three and a half minutes before we saw a goal. Let's see if that comes through again. This has been a very defensive game here in the second half of things. And now it's going to be Spoots trying to send us on the offense. Nevo, though, sends it up towards midfield. Jay going to be playing off of it. Sends it up for Comp. But Comp just a little behind the ball, not able to connect on it. Jay keeping it in the zone. But that's actually a little bit towards his. And that's not ideal, actually, for the Saints. So trying to collect some sort of boost here now to make things going. Fable will have a shot. Going to be a little high and a little to the left. So the Saints going to be trying to play off of that one. 
Comp and Jade in a little bit of a duel there in midfield, but this is ultimately going to get sent over to Vespa territory. Vespa now trying to play this defense, but Spoods with a Just nice wide. shot. A little wide though. Jade now fighting for it in the corner. Comp playing off this one towards the crease. Midfield, Jade going on the offense. No defense, but Jay on a big save. Your St. Clair Saints are not allowing that one to go through, and they are still battling. Great shot. Comp could follow this one up, but no Fable. He has been immaculate back, yeah. on the yeah. line of defense there. Way back in playing that defense. St. Clair, they think they find an opening, but no. There's another player there to worry about. So here it is. Minute 20 in overtime. The offense is still here from St. Clair. They're trying to make this one go. Oh, Good center. Back. There it goes. It goes again. Jay finds it. 3-2 once again for your St. Clair Saints. They take this one with a minute and a half OT. 2 nothing is the series count for your St. Clair Saints. In this best of five, I am going crazy over here, Kermit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I'd freak out just as much if Vespa scored there. These games are crazy. These games are crazy right now. I mean, neck and neck. Jay found all three there in that game. All three. You know what? One person Ooh. surprised me. It's Fable. How brilliant he played throughout that whole game, throughout the whole <laughs> series. But some of his plays has put him in the lead there. Uh, the one where he hit the goalie. And a few demos that really almost, almost won them the game. So what, we're going to run it back and just see the same thing in game I, three I'm or what? I'm, like, I'm calling another overtime. Oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised, man. Like, I, I honestly would not be surprised. So I need to catch a quick breath. Cover me quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Vespa right off the bat looking to start some. Going to be a little bit of shot on goal, but uh, just a bit wide. And the pressure's still coming in. A big save there by Comp. And I mean, Saints trying to put this series away now. They have a 2-0 series lead. It's uh, only a matter of time, wow. I guess, unless Vespa can do uh, something that doesn't happen often, and that's a reverse sweep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy right now. Uh, first two to go in favor of the Saints is absolutely mind-boggling. Uh, okay, <laughs> they're triple kid. That was so funny to watch. <laughs> they will triple come into that. A little bit of a fumble. It's like a game of chase. You see Nevo and Fable just following up. Nevo and Fable are like, oh, oh, never mind. We got juked out again. Spoods and Comp here. And Comp's like, let me help you out, Spoods. I got your hand, bud. And next thing you know, they will find that back. And then at your St. Clair Saints, we'll take that one goal lead. 36 seconds into things here. And that's a big one goal lead at that, right? You know, we see these one goal leads early game, and they're like, oh, like, what a one goal lead. We see one goal in overtime. It's gone. And uh, Jay finds another. I mean, that's Just big. Like that. That's oh, yeah. big. Um, I think Vespa motivation might be uh, down, down, down now because the fact that Saints won two in overtime is so upsetting, especially when Vespa had so many good opportunities in overtime. Like, yeah. the shots were there, the opportunities were there. Just like, I don't want to say like lucky plays, but like the, just things did not work out in their favor. It was just honestly unfortunate for them. Um, but here we go. We are going to continue to go. Spoots finds a third and <laughs> the Saints, uh, well, you know, uh, I don't know if we're seeing an overtime here this game now at this point in time. We haven't seen a game like this yet between these two teams. And St. Clair is really putting this offensive pressure on here now. It, it's mind boggling because, you know, you see two games, right? Saints scored two goals over five minutes in each of those first games, right? Yeah. Now we're seeing three in the first 53 seconds here in this one. I mean, the Saints really just turned up. I believe that overtime goals will really help them out in just scoring here in general and providing offensive plays. But one thing I want to see is just keep it slowed down. No need to, you know, get over aggressive. Now you have a three goal cushion. If anything, play a little bit more defensive heavy. You are able to do that here now. So that's, that's another shot on net though. Spoods will take that one. And honestly, they just don't want to listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just straight up pedal to the metal right now for St. Clair Saints. They got that three goal lead. They're looking to run with it. Yeah, for this kind of team, you don't want anything. As I say that, oh, he almost, Jade almost had a shot there, but um, you, you don't want to stop scoring against these kind of team. These guys are top tier teams we're getting into and I mean anything can happen. You never know. They score one goal, one two, just like that inside the game. So yeah, and Spoods will pick I up say another. That, Spoods is gonna pick up another, his second of the game. I mean, and, and this has gone a whole different story well, and than the rest of our previous games, right? We've seen the same amount of goals in this game three from the Saints. Oh my god, Nevo and Jay Fable are saying they left? What? Nevo left the oh, game. They, they're forfeiting. They're forfeiting. They, Vespa's pissed. Vespa just... What? Wow. Vespa, uh, this okay. is not what I'm expecting from a team um, like this. Yeah, like, I, I really, honestly, like, 
But I still have Virginia Tech being such a strong team, like, are they just trying to go to losers and, you know, call it there? They're, I mean, all three of them have left the game. Left. Like, do we just let this time run down? Or, like, what goes on here? I don't know. You see Coach Mike there investigating the situation. Coach Mike on the duty. He's on call. <laughs> He's getting things ready and locked in. I, all the players are like, what, are we too good? <laughs> I don't know. But they do take that one. Um, and that's game. So, yeah. St. Clair advancing to semifinals, I guess. Um, they're playing immaculate right now. They turned up in that game three. They turned up in the first two overtimes. They really came through and uh, showed why they deserve to be in semifinals. Um, uh, that, that's got to be game. I mean, the other team said GG's straight up there yeah. and stuff like that, right? They so, said GG's and left. I, I don't know exactly what happened there. Maybe they just, I don't know, too much stress or something. Who knows? I mean, I, I honestly, like, it, it, you see it in esports a lot, right? You know, you could have a couple teammates butting heads right now, but if you're Vespa, that's the last thing you can have right now because you're a school in this that's your top, your top four school in your pool. Yeah. Like, like Virginia Tech is a top four school in this pool C. Yeah. Pool three, right? So, for them to forfeit that game three a little interesting for me like yes they are still going to go down to losers and that's where they need to make that big losers run but even if they play out the rest of that game then got took into losers like i don't know there might be some like butting heads going on in, inside the team right now and you really can't have that is because you still have a losers run ahead of you like yeah if okay it might be a little little bit different if it was like the end of the day and you just got knocked out like in your qualifying match what not like okay maybe you could be a little bit upset maybe your teammates and you ultimately figure things out as the week progresses but you're midday mid tournament still i mean you can't have that i hear in the background right now saints are scoring <laughs> yeah. and scoring and scoring and scoring and scoring so they have to i think they have to finish out the game i think uh, i think rules, yeah i think so. the, the due to the rules they just at least have to stay there and keep playing so coach mike might be having a conversation with some admins here now or something along those lines they actually did score a goal on their own net yeah so pretty interesting to see there but yeah like comps not even moving right now they're just letting this clock up technically run down at this point in time so will we do this uh i guess we can just kind of set it to a bracket now i guess like i mean we don't really need to watch this there's nobody yeah, in the lobby except for saints yeah. players and that clock will just go down ticking so yeah just as we were saying st Clair will be you know going into semi-finals here now taking down vespa is a big one because our next matchup might brutally to be honest might be easier than vespa because I'm going to say that because, like, it's just the way the brackets can sometimes work, right? Yeah. Like, Virginia Tech is a top four school here in this one. Like, Illinois, Illinois Orange, Orange, like, I personally believe that Virginia... I, I, I obviously can't say it off... Like, I, don't, I haven't really casted Illinois Orange a crazy yeah. amount or anything like that. But all I know is Virginia Tech, very strong school there. So, uh, interesting to see, nonetheless. Uh, so, St. Clair Saints will be going on to play Illinois Orange here in semifinals up next. So... Guys, uh, stay with us. I mean, we're going to send this one to a quick little break as we do get ready here. St. Clair Saints Green down there in Losers. Oh, yeah. We'll be playing we University of yet. Delaware, York Esports, Ole Miss, or one other team yeah. down there. So, yeah, we're going to see over there. But St. Clair Saints Green, honestly, they have like an hour probably before another matchup comes <laughs> yeah. through for them. So, they have, or longer, to be honest. They have a lot of time before St. Clair Saints Green plays again. Uh, but this gold roster, they're going to be going right again here after this game. So, guys, my name is Jackson Bry Brown. Joining alongside Nicholas Kermit Malosh. And we will be right back with you guys in just a second. You're watching Saints Rocket League. Stay with us as we'll be back.